Hi guys, today we are going to understand locus in a way like never before because in our today's video we are going to do an actual practical demonstration of locus. So let us first revise and understand what a locus is. So a locus is a certain set of points which follows certain set of conditions. In short, locus is nothing but an equation. So in our today's video we are going to deal with a very famous problem. The problem goes like this. Find the locus of all such points such that the sum of their distances from two fixed points is always a constant. So we have on our board right now two fixed points. Let this first point be point A and the other point be point B. These are our two fixed points. Now we have to find out all such points whose sum of the distances from the point A to and the point B is always a constant. So in order to solve this problem we are going to take the help of a thread. So we are going to use this thread which is of 180 centimeter as measured by us and the distance between two points A and B is 80 centimeter. Now what we are going to do is using this thread we are going to find out all such points such that the sum of their distances from the point A and the point B will always remain constant. So let me put our thread in the required position. As you can see when I make the string dot the distance between the two points is 80 centimeters. So the thread also spans a distance or length of 80 centimeters. Then you can see the remaining part of the thread will be a hundred centimeter because as specified by me the total length of the thread was 180 centimeter. Now let me try and find out all such points P which are having the distances PA and PB. As you can see this particular point is P. Its distance from the point A will be PA and its distance from the point B will be PB. So the sum of its distance from the two points will be PA plus PB. As you can see that this particular length is 80 so the remaining length is 100. In short PA plus PB is nothing but 100. Let me take another point P over here. As you can see again that the distance of the point P from the point A is PA and same distance of the point P from the point B is PB. As this thread spans a distance of 80 centimeter again you have PA plus PB equal to 100. Same will happen over here. Again the distance PA plus PB is equal to a hundred centimeter. In short, you can see that every particular point that I am spanning is having the sum of its distances as hundred centimeter. Let us stress all such points P such that the sum of their distances from the point A and the point B will always be a constant that is a hundred centimeter. As you can see, we have drawn all such points P which have the sum of its distances from the two fixed points a constant. Let us see, if we consider this point P, it will be PA plus PB always equal to 100. And if you consider any point, suppose this, again PA plus PB is equal to 100. Now, well, let us do one thing that let us pass a horizontal line through the points A and B. Okay, now we have a line segment AB. Let us consider its midpoint as the origin. So let us call that point O, 0, 0. So according to that, the point A will be minus 40, comma 0 and point B will be 40, comma 0 because the distance between A and B was 80 centimeter. Let us draw a y axis through the origin. Now let us try to get an equation for the given locus and we will tie it afterwards with our diagram drawn.
That is the equation of standard ellipse. Thank you for watching the video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the daily updates. If you want us to make videos on any particular topics, do let us know in the comment section below.